Okay, at the moment, whenever anyone logs in, they are redirected to the home page. So let's just take a look at this. So we come over to login and we're going to log in as our admin user and we can see we're redirected to forward slash home. But if we're an admin user, we probably don't want the dashboard. We probably want user management. So I'm going to show you how to handle the redirect based on a user's role. So if we open up the login controller and that's under app, HTTP, or login controller, we can see down here there's a uh, protected property on this class that's called redirect to. And that redirects us to forward slash home, which is currently what happens in our application. But as you can see, Laravel is expecting a string for this redirect to property. So obviously with Laravel expecting a string here, we can't actually pass anything else in. So there's no way of us saying, well, if the user's an author or an admin, then use this redirect route instead. So let's take a look at this here. There's a trait on this class called use authenticate users. Let's just open this up. So I'm just going to control click. And if your editor doesn't support control click, you can find this file under vendor, Laravel, framework, source, illuminate, foundation, auth, authenticate users. And then as we look at this trait here, it looks like it's using another trait. And we see here it calls use redirects users. So let's open up this trait now. And again, I'm just control clicking. If you haven't got it, then it's under your vendor Laravel, under Illuminate, Foundation, Auth, Redirects Users. So taking a look at this redirect users trait, we can see it only has one method, and that is redirect path. And all this method does is, as you can see from the comments here, it gets the post request from a login and sends them to the redirect path. So if you actually have a look at what this method does, so what it's saying, it's saying if the method exists on this, and this is obviously the login controller because it's getting included in here through the traits, and it's saying does a method exist called redirect to? And if it does, then just return this function. So that's basically what we need to do. We need to build out this redirect to function, and then that will overwrite everything. Because if it's got one, it won't ever hit this block of code here. And what this block of code does, it just checks if there's a property redirect to. And if it is, it uses that redirect. And if not, it defaults to forward slash home. So this is currently what's executing. So it's saying, does the method redirect to exist on your login controller? No, it doesn't. Does the property redirect to exist? Which it does, obviously. We've got it here. And it executes that. So let's build out this redirect to function. So obviously we don't want the method to execute anymore. So we'll just comment that out for now. And let's build up this redirect to function. So we're going to create a public function. And we obviously need to call this redirect to. And that way, when this trait gets run here, it's going to run this function and not look for the property. So then inside this function, obviously we just need to check whether the user has a certain role or not. And if you remember over our user model, we have two methods that we created here has role and has any roles. So we can just use them to do the check. So the first thing we need to do is bring in the auth facade so we can call that. So at the top, we want to use illuminate support facades and we want to bring in the auth facade. And now we can use that auth facade to get the current logged in user. Because once it hits this redirect to method, the user's already been logged in. So we can just say if, and then just call that auth facade. And we say the current logged in user, and then we can go into our user model and use our has role method that we created. And we could say, does the user has a role of admin? Oops, sorry, bit of a typo there. Let's get rid of that a role. So if the user has the role of admin, all we need to do is set the property of redirect to, and then return it. So let's do this. So we can say this redirect to, and we want to set this to a root. Now you can route this to any route you want in your application, but I'm going to route it to the user management page. So the route for that is admin users.index. Then all we need to do is just return this redirect to. So let's test this out in the browser. So let's log out of our admin user at the moment, and we come back to login, and we'll log in as admin again. And you can see this time when we log in, we are redirected to the user management page because we are an admin. So now that we're redirecting admin users, uh, any other user will just be redirected to the front page. 
because we haven't set a redirect to path. So let's do that now. So outside of this if block, what we need to do is set this redirect to, and we want to redirect them to the home page. So like we used to do up here, we just went to forward slash home. For more flexibility, I'm just going to call the, uh, the root helper here, and I'm going to redirect to the root home. And then obviously we just need to return this redirect to. So now if the user's not an admin, they'll be redirected to home. Let's try this out. So if we just log out of our admin and we log in as our generic user, we can see now, you can see now any other user, as in our generic user, is redirected to forward slash home.